I have a question. Why spend money buying a game like a chump when you can play for free? At least until you get sucked into a game and decide they've earned your five bucks, or far more over time. Either way, these are the 22 best free PC games to play now. Just when you thought that the Battle Royale genre had been tapped dry, Titanfall developer Respawn Entertainment came along to put a new spin on it with Apex Legends. A more refined and polished approach to the genre, Apex Legends dials up the appeal with familiar action that was honed to near perfection in Respawn's Titanfall series and mixes it up with an eclectic cast of characters. The brilliance of Apex Legends lies in just how easy it is to jump into, while also offering a ton of strategic opportunities for seasoned players. Player interaction is beautifully simple thanks to the ping system, the game looks like a stunner, and Respawn's focus on providing quality over quantity updates has made this title feel like a true evolution of the ideas that its predecessors introduced to the market. The most recent update, Ignite, included a new legend in Conduit, more maps rotated in, an update to the map Stormpoint, several bug fixes, and more. Brawlhalla released in 2017 as a platform fighting game deeply inspired by Smash Brothers, where players earn points by smashing their players out of bounds. Notably, something that differentiates Brawlhalla from Smash is that each player comes with two weapons. The weapon you use is decided at random when you pick one up off the ground, meaning you'll have to decide your strategy on the fly and choose characters with weapon combos you prefer. The game has also had multiple crossovers, with popular characters from other franchises entering the fray, and recently just introduced a number of characters from SpongeBob SquarePants. It's not CSGO, it's Counter-Strike 2. CSGO was, of course, one of the most popular multiplayer tactical FPS titles out there, and in 2023, the follow-up to CSGO, Counter-Strike 2 was released. While the game has improved graphics over CSGO, Counter-Strike 2 didn't start out free of controversy. On its launch, it served as a replacement to CSGO, and CSGO was removed from Steam, angering many longtime CSGO players. This might sound negative, and it is, <laughs> but unless you're willing to find custom servers and workarounds to play CSGO, Counter-Strike 2 is really the main option available. While hundreds of thousands of players have jumped ship, there is still a massive active player count. Hopefully Valve will iron out its issues and return CS to its former glory. Do you wish you could play Squid Game, but as a computer game with no real death involved and not win any actual money? Then Crab Game is the game for you. Really though, Crab Game is a free-to-play game that released just a month after the show it was based on, and features a number of mini-games similar to the show. While Crab Game was released in 2021, it actually peaked in average players on Steam in early 2023, and still maintains a healthy amount. It's easy to look at Dauntless as a Monster Hunter clone wearing Fortnite armor, but beneath the obvious comparison, there's a surprisingly fun game with an addictive grinding loop. Like its primary inspiration, Dauntless is focused on throwing you at all manner of nasty beasts, with battles providing a rewarding sense of progression and fashionable gear. Every creature is uniquely fun to battle, the game has plenty of personality, and the enjoyable combat makes it easy to fall in love with this love letter to adventure. Originally a premium product that commanded a high price, Bungie's decision to move Destiny 2 towards a live service format has been a monumental success for the Cosmic Sandbox. While each new expansion does have a price tag and the drier months are kept active with season pass content, the free package available to players is a meaty collection of storylines and multiplayer action. Currently Destiny 2's New Light version gives players access to every available planet, as well as Crucible, PvP multiplayer, Gambit, and Strike activities. That right there is a stacked collection of content to dive into, which shines under Bungie's superb attention for detail, action-packed gunplay, and an improved sense of storytelling that each season has introduced to the game. Just expect to be frequently stopped by the game's a la carte monetization system if you want to stray outside of the core modes. The gold standard for longevity in esports, Dota 2's annual dominance of the scene is an unbeatable standard that every game aspires to with the international still proving to be an annual highlight on the esports calendar that features a staggering prize pool. What's truly remarkable is that Dota began its life as a Warcraft 3 mod and then morphed into a title that gave rise to a new genre in gaming. An undying slice of excellence, Dota 2 is a highly rewarding multiplayer experience that is bolstered by years of polish, tweaks, and expansive content. 
ever since its release in 2017, Fortnite has absolutely dominated the Battle Royale space with its mix of the traditional be the last of 100 to survive element of Battle Royale and allowing players to destroy environments and build their own fortifications. Regular seasonal content has helped Fortnite maintain relevancy, changing up the map with huge story events, introducing new playable skins from other popular franchises and pop culture, and bringing all new modes and even concerts. While Fortnite has been slowly dropping in regular concurrent players, the game is still in a league of its own, with ActivePlayer.io showing roughly 235 million active players in the past month. On top of that, there's the recently released LEGO Fortnite, Rocket Racing, and Fortnite Festival, which on the weekend of its release brought in over 7.6 million concurrent players. Fortnite continues to dominate and feel unstoppable. It recently added back in Zero Build, a no-build mode for old-timers. It also now hosts a ton of different custom games through Fortnite Creative Sandbox, like an almost overwhelming amount. When it was first revealed, most people looked at Genshin Impact and regarded it as a cheap The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild clone. While it's undoubtedly influenced by one of the best Nintendo Switch games, developer Miho Yo's gorgeous open-world RPG has established itself as one of the biggest surprises in the free-to-play gaming market. Lush and epic in scale, Genshin Impact mixes the thrill of discovery with the addictive collect em all obsession of gacha games to create a surprisingly generous package. It's been a decade since Guild Wars 2 arrived, and in the years since, it has gained something more important than just a polished gameplay experience or regular infusion of new content, a sizable and dedicated audience. Communities are the lifeblood of free-to-play games, and Guild Wars 2, which wasn't always a free-to-play game, has servers filled with thousands of players at any given moment in time. That makes for a game that lives up to its MMORPG title, and with fantastic gameplay, it's no wonder that fans are still invested in this title. First introduced in 2014, Blizzard's digital collectible card game Hearthstone is still going strong. Online card games have been around in some form or another for years before Hearthstone came along, but Blizzard's Warcraft spin-off quickly became one of those rare titles that redefined just what a game in a specific genre could be. Not satisfied with just being a well-engineered card game with addictive tabletop tactics, Hearthstone was a constantly evolving showcase of ingenuity. It also helped that it looked like a million bucks, each card unleashed dazzling special effects on a living board that could only have been designed in a Blizzard lab. Years later, Hearthstone and its massive library of cards still remains the pinnacle of the genre and a major influence on the world around it. From Hoyoverse, the same developers behind the massively successful Genshin Impact, comes yet another massive success in Honkai Star Rail. Star Rail is a turn-based RPG with an emphasis on story, although as it's free-to-play and Hoyoverse, that means that gacha elements are incorporated and you'll eventually run out of Trailblaze power, which is how you level up abilities and claim rewards. Inspired by Dota, Riot Games came out with League of Legends in 2009. With little expectations of the burgeoning genre of MOBA, League quickly became a giant and even outstripped Dota in terms of concurrent players. Outside of that slugging match though, League of Legends is still a titan that provides excellent entertainment to the beat of its own drum, as well as some of the finest esports competition on the planet. While Lost Ark first released to Korea in 2019, it wasn't released to the West until 2022. The MMORPG was notable, in particular, for having fun combat, which takes a similar approach to Diablo with an isometric cooldown-based system. 2023 has seen continuous updates to the game, including new classes and subclasses, expanding Lost Ark's endgame, and more. Similar to Counter-Strike 2, when Blizzard upgraded Overwatch to Overwatch 2, people were generally not happy. Part of this is because players could no longer play Overwatch 1, part was due to the shift from 6v6 to 5v5, and part of this is due to the no longer included PvE mode. That said, at its core, Overwatch 2 is still a fun team-based character-driven FPS, and it still has a massive active player count, with hundreds of thousands of players playing at any given time according to ActivePlayer.io. While some may still miss the OG Overwatch, that doesn't mean you can't still have a fantastic time with Overwatch 2. Speaking of Hearthstone, a few developers on the game left and founded their own studio, Second Dinner, with Marvel Snap becoming their debut game in 2022. And it has quickly become a smash hit. Like Hearthstone, Marvel Snap is a digital collectible card game where players utilize pre-made decks consisting of cards they've unlocked to face each other. In a unique twist, Marvel Snap also introduces a double-down mechanic called a snap. 
If a player snaps, they double the stakes of the game, and the opponent can then choose to either accept these doubled stakes or retreat. It adds an extra level of mind games to the already addictive formula. Even with the sequel on the horizon, Grinding Gear Games' original stab at old-school RPG adventuring still stands as a brilliant and compelling game of isometric dungeon crawling. While it had no shortage of bugs when it first arrived, Path of Exile in its current state is a mature and more focused venture into dark fantasy. Though it still has some lingering issues, its content has been a thrill, and expansions such as Echoes of the Atlas have grown its free-to-play world substantially. How do you create a distinct identity in a genre that has no shortage of competitors vying for control of audience eyeballs? By creating a MOBA game that's all about seeing which fictional deities can rise to the top of the scrap heap, Smite doesn't stray too far away from the formula pioneered by games such as Dota 2 and League of Legends, but it still stands tall with its constant updates, attention-grabbing character collaborations, and popular modes that are perfect for newcomers. 16 years after it was first released, Team Fortress 2 functions like an old pair of sweatpants in the gaming landscape. Faded when compared to its glory days, but undeniably comfortable to slip into when you're in the mood for an uncomplicated session of Team Deathmatch. Thousands of people still play the game regularly, and even though it may have a persistent problem with spam-toting bots on its servers, Valve's wacky FPS is still a certified classic that's freely available whenever you're in the mood for old-fashioned fun. There's a lot of stiff competition in the character-based FPS space, but Valorant still manages to stand out from the pack. Riot Games series takes inspiration from Counter-Strike with its tactical-based gameplay, but manages to make it its own by layering in unique hero shooter mechanics to the world. If you love tactical shooters but want the fun vibe of Apex Legends or Overwatch, then Valorant is perfect for you. It may look like Destiny if David Cronenberg designed it, but Warframe is still one of the best free games on the market today. A unique blend of action, exploration, and meat grinder enemy encounters, developer Digital Extremes has constantly evolved the world of Warframe while adding content that fans have asked for, creating a lean and meaningful experience in the process. It has starships and glorious gear to equip, chunky weapons, and lethal blades to collect while interacting with a dedicated community of fans. It should be stated that Warframe is a bit overwhelming at the start, but if you stick with it, you'll find a highly satisfying loop. War Thunder is a free-to-play vehicular combat game that started off as a flying sim, but also includes ground and sea-based combat. War Thunder allows you to play the game in a variety of modes against other players, which includes arcade battles, realistic battles, or simulator battles. As the names suggest, these get progressively more realistic, meaning that players can train in a more arcade setting and eventually build their way up to a sim battle mode if they like. The game also includes various events, including historical battles and racing, as well as a single-player mode with various campaigns. What free-to-play PC game are you playing right now? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time.